Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to achieve a quorum in True Node Cluster on Proxmox. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what is a quorum? So simply put, a quorum is actually the minimum of nodes that are online and communicate with each other and they can make decisions okay so I will explain that in more details so here on my Proxmox actually cluster as you can see here I have two nodes Proxmox 01 and Proxmox 02 as you can see here on my cluster so of course the name of my cluster is PRX cluster okay so the problem here comes when actually we cannot achieve this quorum so Let's say, for example, one of the node fails. Okay, so here I have two nodes, and one of them is running some uh, VMs and, and also some uh, LXC container. Okay, so let's say, for example, one of the cluster fails. So let's simulate that. So I will take, for example, this uh, Proxmox 02 in order to make it offline. So I will simply uh, put it. Or shut it down okay so before that let me just uh, go to actually to my shell here and execute the famous command which is PVE cluster management status in order to see the status of my cluster so as you can see here the most important parameters here that we're gonna talk about is this vote quorum information as you can see here so the expected votes is two okay and the total votes are also two as you can see here because we have two nodes okay so now let's try to shut down as i told you the second node so i will just click on this proxmox 02 and i will shut it down okay so shut down node proxmox 02 yes and we will wait for it to be shut down and after that we are gonna see the problem that we actually gonna face here okay so as you can see here my Proxmox 02 has failed or shut it down here for simulation so now let's try for example on the first node try to just for example start this LXC container or virtual machine as you want so here you can see that we get a message cluster not ready no quorum okay so this is the message that you will get whenever you want to stop or start a virtual machine or an LXC container in the two node cluster so how to tackle this problem okay so first of all what why this problem is happening okay so in order to investigate that let's go to the shell once again and let's execute actually our FEMS command PVECM status so you can see here that for the vote quorum the expected vote are two but the total vote we have only one because we have only one node that is online so we cannot do anything we cannot start machine virtual machine on LXC container or shut it down so how to tackle this problem so there is actually a temporary solution that we can do but there is also a permanent solution that we can achieve so let's start with the actually temporary solution so the temporary solution is pretty simple all you have to do is to type the command pvecm then expect one okay so this is the temporary solution that you can do in order to achieve your goal so remember before executing this command we have the expected vote is two okay so now let's execute this command okay and let's run once again our pve status to see this time the expected vote how it will become so here we go you can see now that uh, the expected vote are just one so we can achieve any operation 
just by being one node online okay and uh, let's uh, actually verify that so let me start this uh, arch linux lxc container that it won't start before and now you can see it's starting i don't get any more the actually the uh, message error message cluster not ready okay but as i told you this is just a permanent or actually a temporary solution whenever this cluster the second cluster comes online we will be back to our initial configuration okay so we will need two uh, votes two quorum votes and etc okay so how can you make this solution actually permanent so let's say that you want to avoid whenever a cluster comes or fails you will be always able to start any actually virtual machine or LXA container on your first node okay so in order to do that there is actually a configuration file that you must edit but you have to keep in mind this is not recommended but it's a solution if you want to get that permanent just make some precautions some, some backup of this file in order not to avoid any problems so I will show you how you can make this permanent okay So as I told you, there is a configuration file that you have to edit. So first of all, let's copy it to another file. So this is our file here. It's called corosync.conf. So first of all, let's make a copy of it into a new file, for example, here. Okay. And let's now edit this new file that we have created. So I will just here use nano in order to edit this new file that we have created which is a copy of the original file that we are gonna not touch until the end okay so here here is the file so here you have to make some uh, actually uh, changes so the first changes that you have to make in order to make this Proxmox 01 actually have more votes so whenever the Proxmox 02 fails you don't care about it you just uh, can start any machine just using what this Proxmox 01 so in order to do that you're gonna to the node ID that you want to make permanent and you you're gonna change its quorum vote so here by default it has as quorum vote 1 the same as the second one so let's make it just 2 here instead of 1 okay so this is the first uh, changes that you have to make to your uh, file and second changes is actually you have also to change this config version so it was two because we have made some changes let's make it now three okay so remember in order to do that carefully so we have to change the quorum vote for the node that we gonna keep online to two before it was one then we have changed it to two and also we have to increment by one our config version that's all so let's save that file I will hit yes now we have everything so now we can erase the original file which is Chrome sync by this new file that we have created but before that we're gonna make a backup to this file in case of something happened we have to make a backup of our uh, actually original file okay so the first command is actually this we are just renaming this coro sync which is our original file to coro sync.conf.back here we go then of course we have to rename this uh, edited file that we have just edited which was that new.conf we have actually to make it our original file okay so this is the procedure that you have to make in order to make the changes permanent okay so you see how easy it is to make changes in order to not avoid this problem if you have just to node cluster and you want to avoid the problem of not starting any LXE container or VM whenever uh, not from that cluster fails 
or goes down okay so that was just a brief video to show you how to achieve this quorum in two node proxmox cluster so if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content and if you have any suggestion of course for future videos drop them in the comment below as always i hope it has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing bye bye